Good morning, good morning. Hey there, Harpy Rachel. Hey, Harpy Andrea. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Hey, Harpy Troy. Good morning, Harpy Juanita. Good morning, good morning. Hey, Harpy Sherry. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday. Happy Friday Eve, as you guys say. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Hey, Harpy Christine and hey, Harpy Tihan. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Harpy Delane, Harpy Donald. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Hey, Harpy Danita. Hey, Harpy Queen. Oh, good morning. Taste and see that our God is good Thursday. Yes, yes, yes. We love it. We love it. We love it. Love it, love it, love it. Hey, Harpy Eva. Good morning. Good morning. Well, let's get started here. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the gathering of hearts this morning and your daily dosage will be a continuation. We're going to get through this remaining free from the facts part three. Hey, that rhymes. Remaining free from the facts part three. Hey, heartbeat Belinda. And so we've gone over, um, uh, ways to remain free. The first one was receive your freedom. The second one yesterday was forgiving yourself. And speaking of forgiving yourself, did you guys do your homework? The homework was to ask yourself, what does freedom look like? Did you do your homework? What does freedom look like? Um, because I'm going to ask you about that. But today we're going to move on to number three. Number three in remaining free from the facts have an accountability partner to encourage you to keep going after your freedom. Have an accountability partner to help somebody say, no, they didn't do their homework. Is that what you're saying no to? Come on, come on. All right, get it done, get it done, because I got something to say at the end. Number three, have an accountability partner to encourage you to keep going after your freedom. And so you guys already know where I'm going with this. You know, I am big on accountability partners because I truly believe that they help us. And so 1 Corinthians 15, says this. So stop fooling yourselves. Evil companions will corrupt good morals and character. Evil, so stop fooling yourselves. Evil companions will corrupt good moral and character. The voice translation says it like this, but don't be so naive. There's another saying you know well, bad company corrupts good habits. And so you've heard this message before. I've taught it before, but I want to tell you that it's so important when we're making changes for the better. Sometimes that's okay, Heartbeat Alia. Sometimes we cannot take those same friends and associations into our new chapter of life. I'm not saying cut people off. I'm saying use the discernment that God has given you. That's what I'm saying. As you move on to this next level, as you go to this next level of freedom, and if you're serious about remaining free, remember the, the Bible tells us you'll know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And who God has set free is who the son of God has set free is free indeed. And so if you are serious about your freedom, you're going to have to check your circles. You're going to have to watch what you do. Remember, I said, you got to receive your freedom first, and then you've got to forgive yourself for all of the things that you may have done. But then you've got to get an accountability partner that's going to ensure that you stay free. You know that friend that's going to check you. You know that friend that's going to tell you you slipping back. You know that friend that's going to tell you the truth. No matter, you know, they don't mean to hurt you, but they're telling you the truth. That is what you need. And so I always say that there are two types of friendships or two types of associations. One is the ones that are assigned by God. And then two, the ones that are handpicked by you and the ones that are handpicked by you they do something for you they boost you up they make you not look at your flaws they you know they make you you feel like you are the top dog in that group they don't force you to deal with your insecurities but the ones that are signed by God push you into your purpose the ones that are assigned by God won't let you backslide the ones that are assigned by God will check you in love the ones that are assigned by God are there to get you to your next point um, 
in your life that God has for you and your associations, they determine your destiny based on who you hook up with will determine where you will go in life. Say it again, based on who you hook up with will determine where you go in life. And so you've always got to check your circle. You've got to check your friendships. Um, Just because you guys were friends from back in the day, just because you guys grew up together, that does not mean that that person is supposed to be with you in this phase of life. And when I say this phase of life, I mean close knit in that circle. And so we've got to go back and you just reassess our you know our friendships I, i'm telling you I'm telling you, just because you knew them way back when, just because you guys go back to training wheels and all that good stuff does not mean that they're supposed to be a part of God's ultimate destiny for you. So where God is taking, you know that some of the people that you hang around with will not be able to go. Some people don't want to see you free. Some people like the broken you. Some people like the bondage you. Why? Because they can manipulate you. They can tell you what to do. They know those spots to hit. They know those buttons to push. And so when you gain your freedom, some people don't like that. Some people don't like that now your eyes have been opened and you see that you deserve better. Some people don't like that now your ears are open and you can hear the voice of God. And so you've got to check your circles. Remember, the goal is to be whole. The goal is to remain free. The goal is to not go back in that cage. You have been set free. And so you only want free people around you because those who are not free will pull you back into that bondage. They will not let you go. So um, your associations must hold you accountable. Here's the other thing. If you're the smartest person in your group, you need another circle. You need to get around people who you can learn something from. You need to get around people um, who will help you and not hinder you where, you know, people that you can learn from. Um, you're, what's happening now is you're growing those people and it's draining you. You've got to get around people that will teach you something so that you can pass it along. along. And so if you want to know what your, your future looks like, look at the five people that you spend the most time around. Want to know what your future looks like? Look at the five people that you spend the most time around. So now let's get into this. Your friends, your associations, they should challenge you. They should challenge you, not afraid to check you or confront you about whatever it is that you're doing. And so if you say that I'm doing X, Y, Z, my goal is to do X, Y, Z, then those friends should be challenging you, making sure that you are reaching your goals. They should not be giving you a pass, you know, every now and again. But if they're giving you a pass all the time, that's not the person that you want to be around. The people that are around you, when you pick your associations, they should be good advisors. They should be good counselors. They should be giving you wisdom, you know, godly wisdom, not worldly wisdom. And so you want to make sure that those five people that are around you, one, they challenge you. Then two, they give you godly wisdom. They're able to counsel you. They're able to give you good advice. Next, that they celebrate you. You need a cheerleader. Everybody needs a cheerleader. Everybody needs an advocate, somebody that will speak up on your behalf. If if you're not there, somebody that will celebrate you, so even the smallest things. You see, these people that are in that circle, they know the things that are hard for you. And so even the tiniest thing that someone else may think is minute because they know that it took a lot for you to do that, they celebrate even the smallest things. See, you guys got to check your circle. You got to make sure you have the right people around you. Number five, comfort you. You need a friend that you can go to. You can tell whatever you need to tell and they are going to comfort you. They're not going to beat you up for what you did, but they're going to comfort you. They're going to correct you in love, but they're going to comfort you. They're going to get you through this. They're going to get you back where you need to be. And so um, the quickest way to push pause on your freedom is to stay attached to someone 
that is um, to someone emotionally that is not assigned to the next phase of your life. The quickest way to push pause on your freedom is to stay attached emotionally to someone that is not assigned to the next phase of life that God has for you. And so you've got to make sure you go back, you know, the daily dosage is kind of short today, but it's important that you take heed, that you apply these steps to your life because it matters who you hang around. It matters who you surround yourself with because it could ultimately stop you from walking into your destiny. Amen. That's your daily dosage for today. You've got to watch your associations because your associations will stop you from walking into your freedom. So getting back to the homework, I asked you guys, did you write down what freedom looks like to you? Because you've been in bondage for years. So what does freedom look like for you? And the reason I asked that because I decided to do something impromptu for you guys. If you guys are interested, remember, I just talked about being an accountability partner. I am willing to be an accountability partner for some of you. I'm going to do a Zoom on tonight at seven o'clock. If you are interested in that Zoom, go to, I mean, send me an email, Regina, R-E-G-I-N-A, at GodWantsMeHold.org. Say, I'm interested. When you, I get an email from you on today, I'm going to send you a Zoom link for tonight at 7 o'clock. And we are going to go over what freedom looks like to you. And I am going to be your accountability partner to make sure you get free and stay free. So somebody put that in the chat for me. Regina at GodWantsMeHold.org. Going to do a Zoom tonight. 7 p.m. impromptu. I know I didn't give you any time, didn't give you a chance to plan, but if you are able to join me at 7 o'clock tonight on Zoom, and again, we're going to go over what does freedom look like for you, and I'm going to be that accountability partner to make sure you get free and you stay free. Amen. That is your daily dosage for today. I am Regina Banks your GPS to wholeness. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so. There you can find all of your dosages in one place. Dosages that if you, thank you, Heartbeat Rabina, dosages that if you overdose on, that there is no negative side effect. Follow me on social media platforms, God Wants Me Whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You know how we do this. Say, God Wants Me Whole, and I am getting whole by the minute. Thanks, Heartbeat Andrea. There it is, Regina at God Wants me whole.org. If you want to join me on Zoom tonight, get free, stay free. I'm going to be your accountability partner. I love you guys a bunch. I'll see some of you tonight at seven and others. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 730 right here to close out this remaining free from facts. Amen. Love you guys.